I feel like you exert way a lot of energy. Well, because you're not used to Almost it. Almost not used to it, yeah. <laughs> you do wow. it first. Just different muscle. And it's different from a motorcycle, too. You know, motorcycles stand up so much, and then a snow bike, you sit down. So, again, it's just a different set of muscles. Right. That's crazy. It's Have an issue this morning. The groomer uh, needed a stop moved off the track because I didn't want you guys to hit it. Punctured the radiator. The groomer is now stuck there. So, <laughs> you know how shit crumbles. I don't have a groomer. So, how the track is and how you guys make it is what we're stuck with. I tried to fix that jump over there a little bit. It, it might be more of a tap thing instead of a double. Um, watch that downhill right there. I tried to get the ice chunks off the back side of the corner. If you blow it though, you're you're going right into the, the, the trap. Robert will Robert will take good care of you getting practice going and getting that on track. And we appreciate you coming. This is the oldest snow bike race in the world. This is year ten. It's hard to believe that snow bike racing's been around for ten years, but it has been. And it all started here in Nepal, Idaho. Yeah. So when you hear about X Games and all that. All those guys are doing what they're doing because of what started here, and guys like you. Thanks, Ron. So, yeah, thank you.
I have never done anything this hard. I thought I had done hard things before, but this race was crazy. There was chunks of rocks and ice and holes and you could never predict where your front ski was going to take you and um, I had a few really bad bobbles. One was just ridiculously crazy. I took an advance line I shouldn't have taken and and then I kind of lost my balance I think. I'll have to refer to the GoPro what happened and I ended up off the off the track like on the track but in the most weirdest position ever and it wasn't pretty it was really hard to get out of it but anyway with some help of the people off the track like the track people they got me situated and I get to go again and then I crash right there and then they get me situated and I go to again and I crash Oh my gosh, and the energy you expend is just crazy. And then finally, I just got a better footing, basically, and just hammered the throttle to just get going again. It was just in an awkward spot. But it's so weird because it was so difficult, yet at the same time, it was just such a cool experience. I mean, all of it. Like, just to finish was amazing. Everyone kept talking about, like, how this is not normally how this is. So this was, like, the worst conditions. Um, so to know that I managed and I finished, um, that's really awesome feeling. And I, I would be interested in doing it again for sure. And I would love to do it in a better, better conditions. Um, because when you were in the deep snow, like where I first tried yesterday for 10 minutes, I rode and I was in deep snow and it was really cool. It really was.